Hawks represent all my island people say We people celebrating only from my homeland Like my old man say there's nothing impossible So we have to bring this message to my brother Lyrical Straight from the crew out to the blue We represent the voices of my ancestors calling And I was getting more than my culture is falling Now we have a step up for the past when it's calling What's that? Previously on Delos, we finally caught a fish, only to lose half of it to a shark. The crew went on pirate watch, and Phoebe joined Delos's new crew. We just left Sarong four or five hours ago. The wind is absolutely numb. It's about 4.30 in the morning, nearing the end of my watch here, been pretty quiet. There's reefs and islands on both sides of us, but the uh, charts seem to be pretty good and everything is lining up with radar. There's an island. This is all rain, rain, rain over here too, so in the middle of a bunch of squalls. So here's, uh, down here is Sarong, where we left from. Up here is Wasai, where we're going to get our Raja Opt permit tags for diving. The sunrise brought back the wind, and Brady was able to set sail again. We're so happy to be out of Sarong. It's hard sometimes because you always try to see the good in a place. The people are extremely friendly and outgoing, but unfortunately that and a decent grocery store is just about all Sarong had to offer for us. The anchorage was polluted, the streets were piled high with rubbish, and last but not least, the thieves that boarded and stole some of our gear were probably still watching and just waiting for us to let our guard down. So we were sailing to the village of Wasai to get our dive permit tags sorted out for the rest of Raja Ampat. What's going on, man? <laughs> I don't know. Well, it says here on the chart. We're not crazy. Wasai. There it is, only there's no city here. So this is Wasai. And there should be a, a village, the capital village of Raja Ampak. And we look out here. And there's absolutely nothing. Welcome to Wasai. Tourism Village Guide. So this one shows Wasai there. So our situation right now is that we have lost the city of Wasai. It's supposed to be here on the chart and obviously it's not. So we are now turning around. What I mean is you know these waters pretty well, right? Oh yeah, 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 no problem there. And besides, if we get lost, just gotta pull in somewhere and ask directions. As we can't really find anybody to ask for directions, we will trust some other maps. How does it feel, Brian? Have you gotten lost before? <laughs> Not like this. No? I mean, we're at the right island, I suppose, so that's good. No village here. It just sucks because we're having to motor, so we motored. If this other position is right, that means we motored 40 miles too far this way, so now we have to motor 40 miles too far the other way, which burns a lot of diesel, which kind of sucks. What can you do? Cruising. Yeah. The chart showed a shortcut through two islands that would basically cut our mistake in half. With nothing to lose but time, we decided to go for it. Of course, we hoped we had the right location this time, and that the charts were a little more accurate. It's holding steady at 15. Okay. Still no bottom. So it's pretty shallow. Yeah, it might be shallow enough, right? Yeah, we're down to two now. Yeah, it's slow. Really shallow is up, Ryan. I 
I'm in reverse. Yeah, you'll, you'll touch if we keep going. What do you guys think? I think we should get the thingy in. Uh, it's a bit deeper over to starboard. Yeah, it's really shallow on this side, Ryan. Like I would say maybe a meter and a half. Yeah, I think it's just more seagrass, so it looks darker. Yeah, it's almost back up to two now. We decided to inch forward, keep into the outside of the bends where the water should move a little faster, and also cut a little deeper of a channel. Still kind of holding around three, two and a half. It's also a good sign. Maybe a bit more to starboard. More to starboard? Yeah. There really is nothing like a random swim in the rain. See? Getting lost isn't so bad, right? Yeah, we're going to find a, a sweet anchorage to hang out for a couple days because the past week has been pretty shit. It's getting robbed, <laughs> fucking night watches, and going to the wrong Wasai. didn't even exist. <laughs> so we're ready to sit for a couple days, and it looks like we're going to have a cool spot up ahead. Oh, yeah. Are you ready? We had a GPS position of a spot that looked pretty sweet in Google Earth, so Brady and Yasha took Maggie to see if it was safe for Delos.
<laughs> what do you think about our first anchorage, Phoebe? I don't even know. I think it's a f***ing awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. It's pretty cool, huh? F***ing beautiful, way. Eh? Amazing. Mmm. Alright, we're off on our first dinghy adventure in southwest Kabui Bay. We've taken the dinghy up the small little pass here that goes between the main island of Wego and the Kabui side, which we're on right now. And we're just cruising up the river and saw this sweet little cave, so decided to check it out. And it's just full of flying foxes. There's heaps of them hanging from the walls. It's pretty cool. That's a creepy Phoebe just got in uh, two days ago? Yeah, I think so. Two yeah. days ago. Two days ago. <laughs> Never been on a boat before. Snorkeled once when she was 11. <laughs> and now we're sailing through Raja Ampat and teaching her how to scuba dive. Woo! This is amazing. And look where we are. This is very pretty. There's two of them. The ultimate hunter. started and they've just gradually gotten worse. My fever is 102.6 Fahrenheit or like 38 point something Celsius. Yeah, it's fairly high fever. It seems like dysentery sounds pretty, pretty close to what it might be gurgling stomach when you listen to it with a stethoscope. Do you want to give it a listen, Gasharama? Yeah. Drink that, babe. Some nice salty lemonade for you to replenish your fluids after that mm. diarrhea. It's really salty. Yeah, you gotta drink it. Is it supposed to be that salty? Yeah. Yes.
Sounds like a boiling pot of soup down there, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Like when I put it on yours, it sounded kind of just like smooth flowing yeah. liquids and there it's all choppy and gurgly. Yeah, you really hear like hear all the gurgling there. So from what we've been reading in the book, it looks like some sort of dysentery, bacillary dysentery. It is caused by the salmonella group of bacteria, perhaps, but pretty much all the symptoms that it lists here, fever, discomfort, abdominal pain, gurgling, gurgling stomach, sweaty, paleness, diarrhea, it's all in there. And so if it is infection, then the treatment is uh, Cipro. You see what it tastes like? Good. You want to try some? Okay. I don't know if I want to drink after him. I'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> you go on, girl. Oh, well, I sleep with him, so that's the same thing. <laughs> oh, no, it sounds terrible. Alright, what do we got here, Yashirama? So we're going to start Brady on. Some antibiotics, Cipro, 200 milligrams. 500 milligrams. 500 milligrams. And hopefully that'll clear. This is our little right bag of antibiotics that we got stocked up with in Australia. And hopefully he will be getting better tomorrow. Soon. Yeah. How are you feeling, Phoebe? <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah? Apart from the rums. Yep. <laughs> yeah. How's it going, Brady? Oh, heaps better, mate. Still feel really terrible, but don't have a crazy delirious fever anymore. That's a good sign. Yeah. Luckily, we have a pretty decent medical kit and some good diagnosis books on board. We weren't sure if it was street food, or something that we had cooked on Delos. But all of us got sick. By far, Brady got the worst of it. Eventually, we did find Wasai and got our dive permit sorted out. Chances are, if it wasn't for this little detour, we would have never found this sweet little spot. Up next, the crew invades the Rajampat Dive Lodge gets the guests and staff drunk on Delos Moonshine, and of course, does more diving. Okay, we'll see you guys. Have a nice swim to the boat. <laughs> How about you, Racer? Are you stoked? I am. I feel better. My yeah. poos are back to solid. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. After that craziness. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>